So you went f from a short film to a feature. How yes. On earth, how on earth did that happen? What, tell us about your short film and, and how that was instrumental in uh, The short it. film I made, uh, I made in Los Angeles uh, four years ago. And uh, and that came out in two thousand and seven. We so we sold it, and it was it went into a festival called Dances with Films in Los Angeles. And uh, then I was wondering what to do with myself next. And um, uh, a friend of mine who's a producer said, "Well, what are you going to do for your feature?" And I thought, "Oh, I don't really know." Was the answer. And I gave her some of the scripts I'd written. She said, "Why don't you do this one?" So so that's what I did. We went tried to raise the money in traditional ways. Couldn't do that. Then tried to raise the money through private equity, um, and it was just at the moment when the financial world was falling apart. So, in fact, we didn't raise the budget we wanted, which was fortunate for us, and just went ahead and made it. Right. So you you you, you went back to your budget and said, "We don't have that much. We're going to make it for this much." I know you can't talk about how much yeah. the budget is for obvious commercial reasons. Right. Um, <clears throat> How, 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 what, how did you find that reduction? Was that liberating or was that constricting? You know, if, funnily enough, it was one of those things where you, I, you know, you get very hung up on a number, and, and uh, you know, our number was I think three and a half originally, uh, three and a half million pounds, and um, I got very, very hung up on that number, and not, 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 not getting close to that number was was very disappointing. And I called a friend of mine. He said, honestly, the budget is not going to make a big difference to the quality of your film. I mm. mean, you're going to lose, you're going to lose some things, but you'll gain other things. And, and he was right mm. and so we just went ahead and shot it for what we got right and you've got an absolutely extraordinary cast I mean h how did you how did you manage to get that caliber of cast? I, I mean I, I don't know I mean that's one of the miracles of the whole process I, I have really have no idea how that happened um, Claire Forlani signed on first then uh, Dugray and then suddenly we ended up with Michelle Ryan and, and Peter Bowles and um, you know, uh, Simon Callow and uh, Lee Bourbon, and it was just, it was fantastic. Yeah, very, very fortunate. Now, Adam, who's your PMD, Adam Daniel Mazet, right. um, he's asked me to ask you a great question here. What was <laughs> it like working with a real life married couple on set? Uh, well, I don't know what the alternative to that would be. So I, don't, I mean, they were they were fantastic. They were uh, very who, who supportive. Who are the married couple? Then? Well, Dugray and Dugray and uh, and Claire. Right. The married couple. I mean, Claire is was very smart on the script. There was some there was some big holes in it when we we had a meeting beforehand. And uh, being the writer, I said, No, 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 you're wrong. But she was right. Um, and so we fixed a couple of the problems. And but they were both very supportive, and and they were there. Almost every day. So you went through script development with her, or script uh, no? It was tailoring. A, it, it was a little. It was a very short meeting. I mean, we we met for the first time. Uh, I think about a week before the shoot or something like that, and we'd spoken a few times on the phone and uh, you know, just talked about the character a little bit, and I'd sent her some materials that I'd used as, as research and that kind of thing. And um, and then we sat down in her hotel room and we just went over a couple of things that just weren't working for her and she was dead on. Right, right. So it was very, very <coughs> helpful. And, and in terms of the, sh the script that you took to set, did it change on set much? Uh, no, not very much. I, I'm guessing we shot about, well, we shot all of it. And we probably used about ninety-five percent of it in the film. 90, right. Yeah, ninety. Yeah, around about maybe a little bit less than that. Right. So right. yeah, it was very close to this. To it was very close to the script we went in with. Right. Just give us a little pitch of what the story is as well, so that the viewers can get a sense of the narrative. Well, the the story is about a depressed chef he, who loses his wife in uh, very early on in the film, and he goes into a deep depression and starts cooking crap. And it's not until he goes to open a pub in the countryside that he starts to come alive again, and he meets. Uh, an American food critic, Claire Forlani, and he uh, becomes, uh, uh, you know, he learns to love, live, and, and cook again. Uh, so his life blossoms. Right, okay. Um, <clears throat> what, when you were shooting the picture, what, what caused you the majority of problems? Wow. Uh, I mean, we were amazingly blessed. We had one day with weather, uh, which we uh, which we got away with by the skin of our teeth, I and mean, we were literally shooting between raindrops. Mm. And um, at the end of the day, uh, I think we we packed up, we packed the cameras up, and as that happened, the heavens completely opened, and we drove back through two foot of water. Mm. Uh, so we were amazingly fortunate. Uh, we had a few, two. We were shooting on card, on cards. 
Uh, we had one problem on, on 10 minutes worth of material where the, uh, the DIT was a bit wrong. Um, but apart from that, we had very few technical problems. Right, and and you, so you shot in a digital format. We shot on red. And how did you find that? Yeah, I loved it. I mean, right. it, it looks very nice. I think it's come out very well. Uh, we shot on card rather than a hard drive because uh, the feeling is uh, Nick, who's been in this Nick Napier Bell, who's one of the producers on it, feels that it gives you the same discipline as a as a reel, and that you are shooting in ten minute blocks, and if you lose one ten minute block, then it's not the end of the world, whereas yeah. if you lost a hard drive and your whole day went on, on, a, on a picture like this, you'd be in very, very big trouble. Right. Okay. Because our, our shoot was, was 19 days with the main unit. Right. And how did, you, how did you find managing all that data? I mean, I guess you had a team in place to do that. We had a that. team to do that. We had a digital ingest, ingest, ingest technician, excuse me, and we were rotating the cards continuously. So we were always checking the cards, making sure they were backed up properly and that we were backing up the material. Right. Okay.